Okay, so we saw previously height equivalent to a theoretical plate concept, HETP. But what we do in packed columns is typically the method of transfer units. We're going to see what do we mean with that. Now remember that HETP has been largely replaced by MTU. So if you're studying HETP, it's just for a concept because in engineering or more in chemical engineering or process engineering, you are more likely to be modeling a gas absorber with method transfer units. So what is this? This is a method because the changes in composition of the liquid and vapor phases occur differentially in a packed column. So as stated before, previously we were talking about stages on the trays, which made a lot of sense, especially if you're talking about uh, equilibrium stages and tray stages. And we tried to make this uh, similar to the packing inside the tower. But what happens is that it's not good model because we are still talking about discrete changes, about how much is changing. But it actually what happens in the absorber is that these changes are continuously. You cannot say what happens from 0.1 to 0.5. What you're doing is a differential. Every single differential of packing will have a different composition. And this is done, or this can be shown here. This is a better model. If you try to approach this differentially, it is much more exact and therefore will be better for our model. Height of packing to require can be evaluated via gas phase or liquid phase. So that's also an advantage. If you have the gas phase data, you can use those and ignore the liquid phase. Or if you have the liquid phase data, you can use these as well. And the concept is pretty similar. The packed height is going to be calculated via this right here. C is the total height, typically in meters. N is the number of transfer units, dimensionless. So this can be assumed pretty similar to the equivalent height or number of stages if we are using packings. And H is the height of transfer units. The dimension uh, is length, so you end up with m equals dimensionless number times m meter meter so we're fine so only two concepts now let's see how can we calculate n and h if you were to get this math model right here I, i'm not going to show you that because it's a little bit boring and i think it's not the scope of the course you can model it but i will say this comes from the material balances and the equilibrium balances the mass transfer coefficients and so on so let's assume that this is correct. So this is the equation for H, the total height, is given if you were to integrate from zero to total height. Remember that this is ba based on differentials. So we are talking about differentials of height. You get that if this is true, then you have this concept, which is G, the K, which is the mass transfer coefficient, the difference in the interfaces and the difference with the concentration. From equation number 4.7, if you keep going, you get this, where, remember we got this right here, which is the log mean value. Essentially, we get this, and someone had this brilliant idea to separate it into the integral part and into the HTU part. So this part right here is dimensionless, actually it's fractions, is the integral part, it's called the number of gas phase transfer units. So gas phase because we are based on gas, but you could state it as well as in liquid. The non-integral part, which is this one part, this part right here, is the height of transfer units, HTU. Okay, so just keep that in mind, and we're going to be working with those HTU and NTU. What we want to do is to, from our data, or bulk data, be able to select a coefficient. This is done in the gas phase and simply input all the data and hopefully you get HTU and NTU and calculate the total height. As said before, you can do it via gas balance or liquid balance. Typically it's done via gas balance.